be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same with the Grizzly Gentleman, 10% off at checkout on your fantastic beard products. Or you could shop via the TCG Player affiliate link in the description down below to help support the show. And last, but of course not least, you can go to Grey Viking Games with the uh, affiliate link below to pillage some sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, I, I, I'm trying to get the audio back to where it was before. And I'm having a little bit of struggles. Let me know if the, the sound sounds fine. Uh, also, hopefully my lighting is better. And you're not looking at like a random door. You're looking at a wall. And at some point, I'm hoping to put um, either this, which you can almost see, which is my uh, War of the Spark sheet or a green screen and then i can like do weird stuff with it which i think will be fun regardless uh today the deck we're playing is a green white tokens deck uh, i got a little bit of inspiration uh, for this deck from lvd uh, he posted a video recently um on a standard deck that uses uh, essica's uh, chariot aka the catalac i think is what he called it um but yeah I, I was looking at the deck i was i was watching a little bit of it and i was like this is standard there are some cool tools in historic that i think would be fun to to play around with in this space so that's what i did i essentially uh kind of took took uh, that idea uh and i did my normal deck thing of putting literally every card that i conceivably uh could see in a deck like this into it um i actually started out bant uh because i wanted to add some of the cards from amiket remastered uh however i just decided against it but essentially the point of this deck is to uh make a lot of various tokens make copies of our tokens and uh potentially make duplicates and turn them into angels. Why not? <clears throat> Very straightforward. And I will say, we're playing best of one here. I, I realized I I've been trying too hard to put my um, to put my meme decks. We're still going to play Storm Ring, though. Uh, I I've been trying too hard to, to put my meme decks in best of three. I, I should allow them to breathe in, in best of one in a more janky environment. Um, that's not to say, of course, that it's full jank. Like, obviously, there's, there's a ranked ladder. Um, and I'm still playing in ranked because it doesn't really matter where I play it. I'm going to be facing the, the same strong things anyway. This hand is Garbo. If I had one more land, this hand would be great. Against Luris, we're going second. Nah. Okay, this is fine. We'll get rid of let's see, two, three, then four. I guess we can get rid of Tristani here. Essentially, we just want to scry for another land. Play this on turn two, depending on where our opponent plays. Play these. Okay. So this is possibly wizards? Eskis Chariots. I do like Eskis Chariot. If nothing else, it's just like two blockers. Okay, it seems like it is wizard burn. And I think Amiria is just going to bite the dust here. I mean, she's probably going to get literally destroyed. But if she doesn't, I probably block. Let's see. So I think here I'm going to play battle first. I mean, I know they have a burn spell, but I think we do just block here. Although it's possible that the burn spell they have is a three damage burn spell. In which case it would be better for me to not block. Is that seriously the best play here? If it's a three damage burn spell, I don't block. They kill it with the, the three damage. I end up taking two. Elsewise, I end up taking three. Yeah, no. It, it, I think they're more, slightly more likely to have a three damage burn spell. Yeah, we, we have saved one point of damage here. My opponent has a land drop, yeah. Let's... Okay. So here... I Actually, I think we just play the Love Truck Beast. The negative counters are annoying for sure. Human warrior, human soldier, cats. 
I think we'll go with this. No blocks, obviously. I'm trying to figure out, right? Like, if I draw a fourth land, I still think it. I still think it's probably just playing the chariot. Whoever it attacks for a token that's a copy of target token you control. I mean, that's that is three damage to a one one. It's not even like a full card. Okay, they're starting to get low on value. Uh, okay, that's not great for me. Uh, I was really, really hoping that I could grab a um a land there, but we're just gonna play the Luxor Beast at this point. They're low enough on value that uh, I think just having Beast as a nice blocker is probably gonna be sufficient. And Beast is, for what it's worth, Beast is in the deck essentially for that exact purpose. Just having something that's, uh, big. I can still block, though. I think I'm gonna block the Lava Mancer, or the Lava Runner. Because if they shriek my Beast with a 3 damage burn spell, um, it won't be able to kill a Soul Scar Mage, but it will still be able to kill the Lava Runner. Interesting. I'll take four. Okay, not what I wanted. Yeah, missing missing the lunch ups are uh, pretty bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not exactly what I expected. Shoot. Oh, I can gain five land. I have to draw a land, dude! I have to draw a land. If I block here, like... I'm pretty sure I'm still just screwed. I think I have to draw a land to gain five. Oh, wait. I can put three counters on this, dumbass. <laughs> I'm so smart. I forgot I can just put three counters on this. You didn't even get a land, dude. It's ridiculous. I can gain life, though. So this thing is, is large and in charge. Potentially draw two cards. I mean, an 8-8 an eight eight is pretty decent against Mono Red. You discard that. Um, I th man. I'm going to draw two cards next turn. I, I should be fine here. Just taking the four damage. And I assume they just put this in their hand. No reason to attack. Thank you for a land. Let's see. I'm on three? Functionally one? I think I am just going to go ahead and play this and get some life. Death itself cannot halt my quest for justice. We can rebuild the walls of okay. serenity. Okay, hopefully we have stabilized. I do need a way to deal with that. Killing my guild of these. Interesting. You, you never attack with Lurus, yeah. This can tap for mana. 
So this turn I can play something up to five. Um, or up to six, sorry. Uh, so I could play uh, Amara plus Essikos. I can... I mean, I'm cashing her in for two humans for sure. But I'm just wondering if what I should do, and I think I sh should, is play out Anointed Procession. Play a Mar... No. I think Temple, Anointed Procession, Elspeths. I think that's what I want. I guess I should scry first. Gilded Goose. Um, with Procession, we get two tokens, so I'm actually going to keep that on top. Life gain's life gain. I get to deck like this. It's pretty valuable. Uh, then we just make some tokens. I'm surprised that they didn't just kill that. Do I justice. attack here? Let's see. We could get a Lava Runner. Would I quad block? Possibly. I need, I need to kill my opponent, so I do think I attack here. And if my opponent wants to attack with the Lurus, I will absolutely block the crap out of it. So the next turn here will be on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. Uh, on 7 mana, we definitely play the Goose. I wonder if we just play another Elspeth Sun Champion. No, we... Or Sun's Nemesis. I think we just play a Chariot and a Goose and hold up 2 mana for um, consuming food. Yeah, I think the way that we win... I mean, I guess, like, the long term, the way that we win is with Essex Chariot. The Gilded Goose helps us get to the long. I assume they attack with both of these. Why would you ever attack with Lurus? What? I feel like I even chump here. I, I can go to six, because I'm, I'm about to get some eggs. What? Yeah, that doesn't deal damage to, uh... Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm super fine with that. I two eggs. I can play a chariot. Get some cats. I'm just gonna hold up food consumption. I can't attack with this. Nice, thank you. Um, am I going to hold up food consumption? I'm just going to eat one of these, actually. I don't want to get... I don't want to get put in a, a bad spot, you know? So we're just going to pass the turn. I, that that attack with... Um, okay, th that seems like a give up move. Cool. That, that attack with... With Lurus makes no sense. I mean, I still think I win that long game, but I think that attack there just it is baffling. Dude, moving all the stuff around was a hassle. I do like have a second desk here. It's very dirty right now. It, it's literally just a bunch of cards. But we'll we'll deal with that when we get to it. It's mostly for uh, finishing my uh, EDH builds. Speaking of which, uh, major thanks to everyone who has watched the Rexio video. Uh, we will keep this. We will, we will keep this. Don't know what to play first, though. here is that I play Goose and Riss next turn. Okay, I'm going against Elves. Seems like of the ball variety. That is a land that I can play on tap when it needs to be. Of course, this deck has what I would call 
uh, no removal of any kind. So we essentially just have to make uh, more tokens and they can produce elves. Four mana next turn, potentially. Yikers! It's a definite Yikers. They did not attack, I do not understand. Okay, I think we play this. Play the battle. Pass. The next turn, we play the Chariot. I, uh, you got elved. Damn, I mean, that's a good draw from my opponent. A good, a good, like, uh, like, grip opening hand. No idea why they're playing snow covered lands. Is there an elf that cares about snow covered lands? Covered lands? I don't think so. They're thinking real hard about this. Trash. I mean, it's a one mana three four, so. Can't be all that tricky. Uh, three, six, nine. <laughs> yup. This doesn't give them trouble, right? No. A lot of, a lot of mana. Okay, procession's like interesting. I think we do have to go chariot here. So I can make two tokens. I mean, they just they just use the Alistar Shepherd to buff, and we die. Because I can't let anything through. One, two, three, four. I can let one through, I guess. No, no, that's base base power toughness. Yeah, no. So they're all seven sevens. Yeah, I can't let any of them through. So they just use Alistar Shepherd. What? Oh, do you also have Hoof? Am I getting, like, full elf bald here? I mean, mad respect for my opponent to, uh, to curve out just perfectly. It's like a, uh, a magnificent, uh, a pizza pie. Holy crap. We were getting full-on hoofed. Bruv. I mean, we were dead. We were super dead. I'm letting my opponent do his thing. Their thing. I, I don't know what they are. Uh, I'm gonna give him with the. I'm gonna give him a little oh, wee. No block. I want to see how much damage he did to me. Disgusting! It was one of his. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes you just get curved out. Wait a minute. I'm missing a card. I'm actually missing a card. How did it? How did it not make it? What? I, did, I don't remember cutting it. It's not even in here. What? W excuse me? Huh. Okay. Hawkward. Also, uh, I shouldn't have twenty-three lands. She's not very good. Sometimes you just get elves, you know? You just get elves, you take an elfish beating, and uh, you move on. You move on.
Major what energy right there? What? <laughs> you all right, dude? Uh, also, I don't think I... Well... Played on turn one, comes in tapped. Play goose, and this on this tapped. And just play another goose if I don't draw land. We're going second. My opponent is really in the tank. They keep... You know what? I'm keeping two. Also, hello. Six leaves, bruh. I need to just... Have, no, I don't this one. Um, okay, this is actually a lot better. So now I can uh, play both of these on turn two, and so this on turn three, into this on turn four, even if I don't have the thing. Okay, we're we're getting elved again. Oh no, we're getting elved again, dude. It's fine. Everything's fine. Maybe I need to. This on turn three. Maybe I need to do this on turn four. Like, if I have enough time, I can do both. I feel like I don't have time, though. I don't have time. This now makes four. Did I miss a meeting? Did I miss some sort of meeting where elves became the ish? I, I'm, I'm just dead. I'm like dead next turn, dude. I... Yeah, nice. Elves. I'm gonna die. My opponent has so much mana. Okay, that's potentially not awful. Does look at the top seven. Okay, th eh, it's not bad. You know, you know we're okay. Okay. We're still okay. Wait, why are they playing black? I don't know yet. Uh, we're taking these. <laughs> oh. I did not see these attack. I only saw those. Okay. Um, well, we're going to cast this. And uh, we're going we're gonna to concede. I'm retreating back to where I belong in the jank queue even though uh, there's plenty of people who do not play jank in the jank queue real decks in the jank queue and it makes Justin sad it makes me a sad man because I I don't play good decks I play fun decks except except when I'm trying to play good decks aka Saturdays death and text is only but no Fridays too my absent decks have been getting slightly better Branch of the flames? No, we have no green. We can't. We can't keep a no green hand. We're also going second again. Come on, come on. Wizard sees that I uh, I sign on. I make a new deck. I win once, and they're like, "All right, that's fine. Turn off the valve." Uh, I mean, I like the divine visitation, but you know, turn one, turn two, turn three. I don't think I can justify trying to to go that late especially if this is uh, okay it's sectos good to know i'm i'm very happy for you uh, uh they're just gonna steal my cards bro claim the, I, I still contend claim the firstborn is a card that should not be in historic because it it, it pushes other things out please don't Steal my card and then sack it to which is other. Don't do it. They have the card in their hand. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm playing Chariot on three damage. I don't like this. I don't like this. 
It's fine. It's fine. We're having fun. We're having fun, guys. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm blocked. I figure Riss is gonna die anyway. Not what I. No, we're done. We're done here. We're done here. Sayonara. I don't need this. Not in my life. Not today. Thank you very much. I've been grading student papers. Uh, not papers. But I've been grading their assignments uh, literally since, uh, like, one. I'm recording this at eight. So. Been been doing a lot. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Dex. It, um... Didn't do great. So we have the Guild of Goose, because Battle for Bredegard doesn't just deal with uh, creature tokens. It's creature or artifact tokens, right? So I figure, you know, Guild of Goose, it'll help us ramp. It also, like, helps us with, with not dying because of the fact that it gives us food that we can consume, especially if we have uh, multiple copies of it. Risk the Redeemed. Uh, one of the cards that I wasn't sure about, because I was like, oh, I mean, we could use its activated ability to double our tokens. Bad card. Take this card. In, in fact, we're going to go and do this. We're going to uh, uh, clone this. All right, so as I go through the cards, we're going to get rid of some things. All right, risk, bad card, take it out. Um, Birth of Melodus gets us fixing, sort of. Uh, essentially, just to make sure that we're hitting our land drops. Possibly a bad card, um, but it does make a 0-4 uh, wall uh, and gains us life, which is just helpful for uh, this. Uh, and technically, Essex Cherry. You know, having walls is quite nice. Um, Emiria, uh, Emara, sold the Accord. It's a 2-man 2-2 that makes a bunch of 1-1s one that have lifelink. Like, she should be fine. The issue, there's a lot of ways to kill her right now. And Claim the Forceborn is a really efficient version. Uh, Lovestruck Beast. This card is actually the best. It should be a 4 I do not know why I decided to put it to 3. I'm a stupid man. Uh, this card makes a token, which is great. Um, but it also just is a 5-5. Five five, right? Against a lot, of, a lot of boards, you just get to sit there and block. However, uh, there's one card uh, that it doesn't sit there and block with. Uh, it's Claim the Forceborn. Anyway. Uh, the first Iron Games gives you a, wow, token, and does more. You might be witnessing a theme here. Uh, you get to buff the crap out of one of your creature tokens, since a lot of these are 1-1s, one so that's nice. You can also buff the crap out of your Gilded Goose, have a nice 3-5 flyer. Not bad. And then, of course, um, if you control a creature before, uh, or greater power, you get to draw two cards. Nice to nice to do in a deck that uh, is ostensibly playing garbage. And you get a gold token. It can help. We are trying to play a couple of higher CMC things. Battle for Bredegard, one of the reasons that we're playing this. It makes a token, it makes a token, and then it doubles your tokens. That, that, I mean, that's it. And if you have uh, an Oida Prison out, it, it essentially quads your tokens. It's, it's pretty cool. One March of the Multitudes. I'd like this card. That's the only reason. You know what? It should, uh, it should probably go. Annoyed Procession. It doubles your token production. If I'm going to be honest with myself, this should probably be a three of only. Because of the fact that... Um, you, you don't want you you want to see this in most games but you don't want to have two of these in your hand right if you have one on the field and then like you draw another that's not terrible if you draw a third it's pretty bad because you you need to have token production to you know not die so i think it's probably be a three i was incredibly surprised by elspeth some of it obviously is because anointed procession was on the field but the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of aggressive decks, a lot of aggressive strategies out right now. So having Elspeth to just gain five life and make blockers is not bad. It's, it's just not bad. Um, I think she's fine as a two of, though. I think she's she's probably fine as a two of. Um, Esica's Chariot, uh, a.k.a. the Cadillac. Look, it's a legendary artifact. I, I'm going to keep it at three. I think three is fine. You want to see it, uh, but... You don't want to see it in multiples. This even less so than Anointed Procession, just because this is legendary. Divine Visitation. Honestly, like, looking looking at it again, like, now, I think this card just, like, doesn't do what you want it to, right? It clogs up your hands in the opening uh, game, but also, like, you don't want... You don't want to... Uh, uh, you want to diversify your token stocks, right? If all of your tokens are angels, this card's Garbo, right? It, it makes your base tokens better, but I think... I think what the deck just wants a little bit more of is more interaction and just 
more armies in a can, which essentially is what these are. So we're gonna we're gonna cut those. We have a couple army armies in a can. We have Tristani and we have uh, Maya. They both have a pump effect that affects all of our creatures, which is great because obviously uh, a lot of our things are one ones. Additionally, a Tristani has a set army that she comes with, good old fashioned two uh, one ones, but they're they're two two twos. Uh, so she's very nice immediate bang for your buck. But Maya does get better over time the more lands that you play you get more tokens so you know she starts off a little bit weaker uh, in my opinion but she definitely scales uh, a lot better i don't know if we should be playing four total of these you know two and two or something like that uh, they're legendary I, th I think two is is two each is like the max i would do um but it's, it's definitely a, a, a potential there emeria's call it, it's a potential land it's also just like a nice way to gain uh, tokens i think this is fine to be honest, I think this is just, like, what you want to do. The mana base, um, Ardenvale. Ardenvale, I think, is just better than having some of the other things that we have here. Um, namely, I don't know if this deck wants, like, any land to come in tapped. The reason I had uh, uh, Scattered Groves and Temple of Plenty was just so that I would be able to, um, to kind of help out with the mana flood. The issue is that not being able to play your cards on curve is very bad for a deck like this. Like this deck wants to curve every time, so I think honestly, you, you know, you cut you cut these. Um, I guess you could do some pathways. Do like a, let's do three pathways and then uh, do one of these. Boom. Yeah, I mean that's that's probably fine then. Um, these are some of the cards that I considered. But uh, the card that's supposed to be in here is Angelic Ascension. I am stupid. I spelled Angelic wrong. Bad person. I'm supposed to have a couple of Angelic Ascensions, and I, I didn't. The reason is that you can deal with creatures that... Creatures or Planeswalkers that pose more than four damage in the air worth of a threat. For example, aka par exemple... Um, a lord. Probably better if it's just a 4-4 angel that doesn't help the rest. It's still going to hurt you. Do not get me wrong. Like, you still have to deal with that. But, it's better than nothing. Um, there's more interaction. What is it? I think it's, I think it's like half a land. I think it's one of the flip lands. Or the, the, the dual face lands. Yeah. Kabir takedown. Another... A creature control to target creature or planeswalker. I think that this is probably even better than Ascension. If we add this, I do wonder then if it would be feasible to cut down to 23 lands. So what would I want here? I think we want Love Truck Beast at 3. Just for more two drops, I think maybe put this there. It's, it's just too fun. I think I need more interaction than that. So I think I want three Kibir takedowns. And to do so, I will cut out a single planes. And I think this is where the deck wants to be. Right? I think this, I think this does better against more things. Especially since this can hit planeswalkers. Now, if you want to go to best of three, uh, first things first, you need immediate, like, three or four heroic interventions. <laughs> you need ways of not dying to board wipes. Uh, then you probably want some more uh, good life gain effects uh, against the aggressive decks. Um, you probably are going to want some artifacts slash enchantment hates. Uh, th there's plenty of that in blue uh, in green-white. Um, yeah. you. I'll show you really quickly um, what I had considerations for blue. These two were probably going to get cut eventually, but I just like the idea of them. Uh, the main reasons uh, were for Mythos of Aluna, being able to copy your anointed processions, just being stupid. Uh, Tower Zification gives you some nice flyers. Um, it also is a good answer to your opponent's... Um, the, the thing that you turned into an in jail extension. Obviously, it's not great, but, you know, it, it's a thing that is potentially worthwhile. And then your Avon Wind Guide just gives your creature tokens flying and vigilance, which feels decent. You get to attack in the air and then still block. Um, I ended up just not going that route. If, uh, yeah, I don't even know with this. I don't know how it, how I would fit those in. 
they're all fours and like the deck I, I mean you'd have to lose Elspeth Sun's champion and I guess you'd have to lose some of these oh I didn't even buff these numbers I do want to buff those numbers though and I, I prefer Tristani because she just is a an army and I can like immediately so yeah, that's the deck uh this is the deck I'm gonna post uh, because I think this is the better deck, and I would I would rather you play the deck that is a little bit better than the deck that I actually played. Um, obviously, you should totally tweak everything I uh, make, because I'm bad. <laughs> anyway, I would like to uh, say that I have a P.O. box. Feel free to send me things. I'll open my camera. Uh, thank you to my Fogwin, Malik, Balatare Patreon supporters. Uh, and everyone else, too. You, you guys are you are, you are cool. Uh, if you would like to join them supporting the show, you'll find links down in the description. Uh hope you enjoyed this if you did like comment subscribe that stuff really does help with the channel and of course until next time i will be one